Hello, I'm your host, Soraya Palacios. As the city continues to battle this pandemic in our community, we want to thank all of you who have taken extra precautions by wearing your face covering while out in public, continuing to practice social distancing, and washing your hands often. These safety measures will help us slow the spread of the virus in our community. City and county officials have extended the local directive for another month as children prepare to return to school. But first, let's talk about COVID-19 and the many programs available for veterans struggling through this pandemic. The virus is quickly spreading in our community and health officials are urging residents to get tested. There are many COVID-19 testing sites available free of charge, including the mega drive through testing sites that can do up to a thousand tests a day on a first come, first served basis. If you need to get tested, please keep trying. We're making every effort to accommodate the increase in testing demand, and we will continue our aggressive testing strategy. We're trying to bring the testing to uh, your neighborhood and all the areas of the county as well. And for those who have recovered from the virus, city officials are asking that you donate plasma to help those fighting the virus. Donating blood will also get you a free COVID-19 antibody screening. The Armed Services Blood Program Detachment at Fort Bliss is offering COVID-19 antibody screenings with all blood donations. Testing for antibodies within the any blood products that uh, people are donating. So what that means is that if you've come into contact with the COVID virus at some point in time, but obviously if you recover it or your body has built up antibodies, then it will show a positive test. For more information on COVID-19, including testing locations, visit epstrong.org. If you are a veteran and struggling through this pandemic, there is help for you. The El Paso Veterans Affairs Healthcare System offers a variety of services for veterans to help with their medical needs in addition to getting tested for COVID-19. If you meet the criteria, and they're going to ask you the same screening questions we get everywhere. You know, have you lost taste or smell? You have flu-like symptoms? You have, have you had a fever? Things like that. And if you answer those and you meet the criteria, the clinical criteria, for testing, then they'll tell you, okay, Mr. Smith, we'd ask you to, to, you know, please come up to the main clinic. For veterans wanting a COVID-19 test, call 915-564-6100 and select option three. The Stephen A. Cohen Military Family Clinic at Endeavors provides high quality, accessible and integrated mental health care to veterans and their families, regardless of role and discharge status. The Military Family Clinic will also help connect veteran families to additional support and housing programs. It's, it's an initiative of the United States Department of Veteran Affairs to promote housing stability among very low income veteran families who reside in El Paso or transitioning to permanent housing. And we're also here to, to assist those veterans with funding to make sure they don't to make sure that them and their families do not become homeless. Veterans needing housing assistance can call 915-603-5460 or visit endeavors.org. And for more valuable services, the El Paso Veterans One Stop Center provides El Paso veterans and their families with accelerated access to mental health and support services. We're providing therapy and case management at no cost to veterans, veteran spouses, active duty and active duty spouses. And why that is, is we were approved for telemedicine, so we can do those sessions through Skype or telephone, really whatever is more comfortable for the individual. For more information, call 915-242-0555. There are many programs and services available to help you and your family. During these difficult times, many people may feel alone and may have signs of depression. Just know that you are not alone. There is help for you. If you are a veteran experiencing a crisis and need to speak to a mental health professional immediately, call the 24-hour crisis hotline at 915-779-1800. And for COVID-19 related mental health support, call the support line offered 24 hours a day, seven days a week, toll free at 811-986-1919. One nine. Many active military personnel are getting ready to transition from military life to civilian life. If that's the case, you may be interested in this. The City of El Paso, in partnership with Fort Bliss, has a program focused on providing opportunities in local government for transitioning service members. The Bridge Program matches eligible service members within the 30, 60, and 90-day window of transition from the military 
to learn valuable career building skills while working within the city of El Paso. You've seen a lot of benefit from more soldiers coming in here and more soldiers retiring in the El Paso area. You'll, you've seen a, an increase in that. This opportunity is more than a simple internship. It is a unique work experience aimed at developing valuable commercial skills in preparation for successful post-military careers. We are committed through the bridge program in getting the soldiers that are retiring into our organization and others in our community and have them have a job here in El Paso so that we don't lose them. Many transitioning soldiers have enlisted in the Bridge Fellowship. They have had amazing experiencing learning life back in the civilian work environment. Many of them have had the opportunity to obtain a full-time position within the city of El Paso. The transition from my perspective has been fairly easy and the city as well as Paul Albright and I got to give uh, credit to the Army have all made that possible. For more information on the Bridge Program visit ElPasoTexas.gov. Many of us have noticed the effects of living through this pandemic both mentally and physically. But as I have mentioned to you earlier there is help for you if the isolation has been too much to bear. But there is also good news for those of us who want to get back into shape. As the city of El Paso continues to navigate through the COVID-19 crisis, it is vital for the community not only to focus on our mental health, but also on our personal fitness and nutrition. As a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, the city of El Paso began an initiative to improve the overall health of our community. Residents can join the Live Active EP movement by taking the pledge at liveactiveep.com. Participants can share their health stories, take challenges, or challenge others, post pictures or videos of their progress while using the hashtag LiveActiveEP. Now that children are attending school virtually and are preparing to head back to school, Victoria is here to give us a scoop on how children can get ready and stay safe on a segment we call Chips and Guacamole. Hi, I'm Victoria. I'm so excited I finally get to go back to school. Well, not just yet. The city officials have said it's still not safe to go back to the classroom just yet. So for now, we're starting school virtually. It's a great idea for parents to set up a quiet learning space for their kids. This way they can concentrate and be ready for class. And even though we're learning from home, we have to do good on our schoolwork and listen to our teachers. We also need to keep our school supplies, computers, and iPads clean. Wipe down your keyboards and anything that you touch when you're done for the day. Wash your hands and remember, let's do our part to keep each other safe. Have a great school year. See you next time. Thank you, Victoria. As many of your children are attending classes virtually, it is important you take time to talk to your children about what they need to do to stay safe when they are back physically in school. Did you know that if you are a veteran, the YWCA offers free child care for children ages 0 to 12 years of age? To qualify, a veteran just needs to come in, provide proof of being a veteran, and um, they just need to call our number 519-0000. We will call them back. We will get them qualified so that they can take advantage of this service. If you are interested in free child care from the YWCA, call 915-519-0000. COVID-19 testing is available free of charge. And now there is a new site that has opened on the west side in order to provide more opportunities to get tested. City testing sites are by appointment only. Call 915-212-0783 to make your appointment for either the east side or the west side testing site. If you have not been tested, take the time to visit one of the many sites available for you. If you would like a list of additional COVID-19 testing sites, visit epstrong.org. Remember that you can call the COVID hotline Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. and Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. For referrals to health and social services, dial 211 and select option 6. You can find up-to-date information on COVID-19 by visiting epstrong.org and for more information on Fort Bliss, visit their website or their Garrison Facebook page. Thank you for watching this edition of Sun City Bliss. Keep up to date by following us on social media. On behalf of Victoria, Jonathan Romo, who is behind the camera, and myself, 
We will see you next time.